What is up guys? This is Jero's Rants coming at you and today I want to talk about Halo Master Chief Collection. This will be, I guess you can call it, sorry about that, I guess you can call it a rant video? That's probably, excuse me, that's probably what I will be calling it because I like calling my videos rants because, well, I rant. That is my name. But today I'm going to talk about how we could possibly save and why we should save the Master Chief Collection. Because not only is this game amazing, it and I'm going to quote a lot, so sorry if I don't paraphrase him. BT Dobbins, you brought up a lot of great points and I will probably honestly post this link to your channel. But the reasons we should save this game are very many. And reasons that are actually saving this game are many too. Because right now I'm playing the Infections playlist, which I'm pretty sure didn't come out with launch. Or if it did, I remember it was taken out. Because I remember at a time there was no Infection playlist. There was no Rumble Pit playlist. And as weird as that sounds, there wasn't. And Infection is a great game for Halo. And it always has been because you'll get custom maps, or at least back in like Halo 4, Halo 3, you get custom maps with Infection. It was always so much fun. Fun to play with friends too because... You can have some intense moments, especially playing split screen, which I will get to that in a bit. But other than Infection, there's Rumble Pit, which I may be playing for you later. Just so you know, this is live capture, this is live play. I'm sorry, I don't really know how to voice over yet, since I am fairly new to YouTube. But Infection is awesome. Rumble Pit is awesome because it's all these crazy games you can play to mess around. You don't have to be good. You don't have to like necessarily like Halo. You just have to learn how to have fun. And as BT Dobbins put it, you could, <laughs> I mean, you can just freaking mess around and make a drinking game out of it. Now, Infection is awesome because it's you against the zombies, and it's fun as hell being a human because it gets nerve-wracking when you're the last man standing, or you and your buddy are the last man standing. And I'll probably honestly get infected in a moment because I'm half paying attention to the game, half paying attention to my commentary. Now, the reason the Master Chief Collection should stay alive is, BT Dobbins, I will quote you on this and I will probably be saying your name a lot, is because it is going to be one of the last games with split screen, which sucks. Because split screen, besides in Call of Duty, which split screen is in Call of Duty, if you do that, you're, you're going to lose. You're going to lose the game because it is terrible in Call of Duty. But Halo split screen has been with me all my life, all my childhood. I remember going to my grandmother's house with my older brother playing Halo 1, Halo Combat Evolve, when I was 5 or 6, I can't believe my dad still let me play that, I am about to be 20, and I still can't believe my dad let me play that at like age 5 and 6, but we would play, I got great memories of us playing the library, and yes I know a lot of people do not like that game, a lot of people hate the library, but I loved it because I got to play it a lot with my brother. And we would always play it, always get nerve-wracking. We had these little spots that I always use in the Master Chief Collection and the Halo Anniversary. And it was just fun because it was split-screen. We didn't have to have live and talk to each other through headsets. It was real-life conversation, real-life interaction. And with Halo 5 not having co-op, it's getting rid of half of Halo, I feel. Co-op is what made Halo besides that and custom games, which I will get to custom games in a bit. But... Without Master Chief Collection, what other co-op game is there? And don't you dare say Call of Duty, because if you play Call of Duty co-op, you are just probably either A, don't care, B, not competitive, or C, you just don't have another Xbox to play with your friends, you have to. Because no one likes playing co Zom or, uh, Call of Duty co-op, or not co-op, split screen, I'm sorry, I keep saying co-op or split screen, but no one likes playing split screen Call of Duty unless you're playing a custom game, which is... The biggest thing to do in most games is a custom game where you're just playing with <laughs> your friend playing, uh, what is it, Michael Myers, playing Predator from Ghosts, and doing all the others. Halo, it was, you got to play the campaign, you got to play all this crazy stuff in uh, split screen. Online was good on split screen, it wasn't laggy, it wasn't crazy, you could actually coexist with each other, I guess you can call it and actually plan stuff out, like getting the Warthog, don't get in the Warthog, all this crazy stuff. And it was just so much fun. And now that they're getting rid of that, it's kind of disappointing. Oh crap, I'm a zombie now. But I mean, it's disappointing. It's, I'm, I'm saddened by it. 
I didn't know until I watched a couple videos on YouTube that they're getting a co-op because I'm not the hugest, the biggest, I'm sorry, hugest is not a word. I'm not the biggest when it comes to news. I usually just play. I don't usually pay attention to it. Oh, that was pretty funny looking. But I am very saddened at the fact that co-op or split screen is going away. Oh, give me a break. But that was that was my bread and butter with me and my brother. I will play Halo Master Chief Collection co-op with him all the time. Split screen, it's fun. We get to go back and relive those old days, and it was just fun. I love it so much. And now they're getting rid of it, which is disappointing. Very disappointing. And now it's like, damn, what, what's going to happen? I'm not going to be able to split screen. I'm not going to be able to relive everything. But with Halo Master Chief Collection, I can relive that stuff. I can relive playing the library with my brother's split screen at my grandma's house. Well, not at my grandma's house, but at home. And it's fun. And I, I'm glad they kept it in here. But now with Halo 5, they're getting rid of co-op. In split screen, I mean. And you're going to have to go back to the Master Chief Collection. But the Master Chief Collection is dying. Because no one wants to play because it's such a shaky launch. launch. It pissed off so many people at launch. It was unbelievable. And I really hope those people come back. Because it has improved, not greatly, but it has improved, definitely. Especially with the new playlists. If it wasn't for the new playlists, I would say Master Chief Collection is a lost cause. But with the new playlists, it's awesome. If only they would add, like, Reach or something to it instead of ODST. I don't know why they added ODST, but not Reach. When Reach is technically kind of Halo Master Chief because that's basically the Master Chief's origin stories before like how he got onto the Pillar of Autumn. I don't know why they did not consider that an origin story or somewhat of an origin story. But that, I digress. I am going way too off topic. But the thing is with split screen, it that will always live on with this. That's why you should play this game. Because it's going to be awesome on split screen. And you can always do crazy stuff. That's why this game should not die out. But the one thing 343 should really, really implement is, I know it's not Bungie anymore, but they should add Bungie favorites back. In, in, the, in this case, 343 favorites. To find out the best maps, the best custom maps. That way we don't have to go ser searching through gamer tags to find a cool map. We can just look at 343 and find the best map that way. Instead of, oh, I gotta look up this guy's gamer tag, hopefully he has a good map, and all this other crazy stuff. It's kind of stupid how they have it set up. Oh my god, I missed. But, on the other hand, it's not bad, I guess. I mean, at least you can file share, but that was what made Halo for me. That's what made Halo 3 for me, was the custom games. It was playing Halo on Halo. And you had to ride around in circles around that giant rank thing. Around that giant track. And then there was Duck Hunt, which was awesome in so many ways. And the fact that I can't find those maps unless I, like, honest to God look for them, it kind of sucks. That's why I think 343 favorites, even, I mean, it's such a little thing to add. Have a couple guys check out file shares every once in a while. Play them a bit. I mean, I know 343 has to play their game. Play it a bit and... See if they enjoy it. And if they like it, they put it on their favorites. And look at that. We got a custom game. That would save the file share so easily. And I feel like that would be the best bet to save this game. And then the next thing they should add is, honestly, if they could, this would make it even better, is add customization. Not this crap where you have one armor set. I miss Halo 3. I miss having my Mark V helmet, my Scout left shoulder pad, my right side, or no, EOD left shoulder pad, Scout right shoulder pad, and my, what was it, Hayabusa Katana? Or Hayabusa Katana chest, I missed that. That was the best, I loved customizing myself. Even in Halo 4, in Halo 2, no, Halo 1, no. Halo Reach had the best customization. If they brought in like Halo Reach customization, that would be awesome. Like bring and that was another great point. Bring in Halo Reach. Put Halo Reach in the collection. It is Master Chief is in Reach. For a little cameo, yes, but he is in Reach. And they should add Reach to it. That would probably honestly save the game. Because I know a lot of people knock Reach's campaign. They hate it because Bungie added Sprint. But honest, a lot of people also loved Reach. I felt like it was the coolest game. It had the coolest game modes. 
it would have the best customization by far. You know, with all the new armors, you can buy like helmet decors, all this crazy things, visors. And Reach was just my favorite. And that had a lot of great memories of split screen with Reach. And just getting rid of split screen on Halo 5 just makes me wish that more people played Master Chief. Because when people played Master Chief, look at that, it's saved. We gotta save the Master Chief Collection. I don't care if Halo Master Chief pissed you off on launch. That was launch. That was a year ago. I think almost a year ago or a year ago. I can't remember exactly the launch date on the Master Chief Collection. But live and forget. It's still a great collection. It's still Halo. And it's the originals. It's not any it's not like the new run and gun Halo 5. Halo no, Call of Halo. That's what I'm gonna call it. That's what I'm gonna call Halo 5, Call of Halo. You're running, you're gunning, and you're hoping to God you don't miss. Cause that is Call of Halo. With the cool custom maps and the cool campaign and I mean, the only thing that Halo 5 has that, honestly, the only reason I want to get it is because of the campaign. Maybe the multiplayer will prove me wrong. But as of now, I just want to get Halo 5 for the campaign and possibly, possibly the custom maps. Because that's if, if 343 didn't put file share in this, a good file share, a working file share, how do you know they're going to put it in Halo 4 or Halo 5? I don't remember Halo 4's file share. I never played Halo 4 that much because it was not fun for me. It was too much like... Call of Duty, as I've said before, but at least they tried. I I did like the game. I just didn't like the mechanics. But I really hope they fix up that file share. I I hope at the very least they put in like three four three favorites or something. Like what the hell? I can't get through that. But you know what I mean. I've I've been going back and forth. I don't have a speech plan, so sorry about that. But you understand what I'm getting at. We can save the Master Chief Collection. I hope we do because Master Chief Collection is. Honest to God, a really good game. They fixed a lot of bugs. The fine match, like you saw in the beginning of my video, was not bad at all like it used to be. Before, it was like three hours before you found one game. And we just got to live and forget. We just, if more people jump on this Master Chief Collection, it will not die. It is dying because people... It's, it was buggy at launch, so it's got to be buggy now. We have to find... People have to come back to this. It is still an amazing game. I play with my friend all the time. We go old-fashioned. I jump in the drive in the Warthog. He's on a gun. I'm driving, knocking. He's knocking people down. I'm splattering people if they're in my way. And we're just like the greatest Warthog team ever. If you don't believe me, we will face you and capture the flag. We will destroy you. <laughs> but, like, that's what makes Halo Halo. It's fun, cooperative play. And Split Screen adds on to that. And I hope Split Screen stays in, like, Halo 6. And Master Chief Collection is just such a great game. It was buggy because it was such a huge game at launch. But it's begun to work out. And honestly, please don't let it die. Let it have at least another three years. Let's have so many people come on and play Master Chief Collection that 343 has to look at it. They have to look at this game. They have to fix it. The little bugs, the little things. They have to do little add-ons. Let's start playing Master Chief Collection more. Let's play. I love this game. I don't want to see it die, and I'm pretty sure most of you don't either. Yes, it has issues still. Yes, it is frustrating as hell sometimes. But it's a, an amazing game. You don't even have to be that like crazy about it. Go to a friend's house who owns it and play split screen. You'll have a ball. If you're over 21, go have fun drinking four-player split screen. Just make sure you're above a 20-inch. And you will love it. I promise you. Halo is going to die hard. So let's make sure it does die hard. Let's make sure this thing lives on another five years. We got to keep Halo. I want it to stay. You want it to stay. So why not do something about it? Go out. Get yourself Master Chief Collection. It's probably like 30 bucks at GameStop. Now, I'm not sure. Don't quote me. And play it. It's, it has way more content than Advanced Warfare. Way more. I always bash Call of Duty because it's just such a cash grab. But this has way more content than any Call of Duty game will have. Ever. Except for maybe zombies. Oh, look, we can play zombies the same exact map 30 times over. Why not go play Halo Infection? You can play the same game mode just like zombies. I mean, yes, you don't get to buy guns. But look at that. Different map every single time. Or at least almost every time. Go out. I'm done rambling. Thank you for watching. This is J-Rose Rants. And as always, have a good day.
and go out, get yourself a copy of Master Chief Collection. If you don't have it already, go play it. It's an awesome game. And if you're playing the Taken King, you can always take a break in between and play some Halo, some good old Bungie, some of the old for Halo 4. So, again, as always, have a great one. And this is Jero's Ranch signing off. And go Master Chief Collection. Don't die on me.